the first, we're going to have uh, uh, Tu Chao Win from Burma, who's uh, working on behalf of human rights and <laughs> civil society organizations as part of the transition to democracy. So, go ahead, please. Do, do we have, by the way, do we have microphones or? Here we go. Thank you so much, Mr. President. And uh, you said that recently the conclusion for the, our election. Yes, yeah, it's a pleasure time for me this time. Uh, that is a barrier for me. Even that over 10 years ago, uh, I cannot imagine that I will be here now. Because, uh, you know, Myanmar people have been staying under the military regime for a long time. But after 2010 elections, uh, you know, Myanmar is a little bit, I mean, the transparency in some settle. So I joined last, uh, I mean, 2013. So I uh, founded the Myanmar Knowledge Society. That is a publication house uh, which focuses on the human rights and democracy issue. I am the one of the editor of Journals of Human Rights and Democracy. Yeah, that is a very fast journal of human rights in Myanmar after 2010. So. And then the last uh, spring, the, I joined the, I mean, the YCD program that is something to say the ECYPL program, American Council of Young Political Pro Programs. So I applied the program, so I was in Washington, D.C. I was working in the MSC International as my intern. So. And there, so. even I didn't have, I mean, the friends across the ASEAN country. But after I applied this program, I got now so many ASEAN countries. Especially my friends from the Indonesia, we always talk about the transition of BDS and the people always compare with the, I mean, the uh, uh, transitional BDS and the democratic transition process in Indonesia. We always talk about Indonesia. So I can learn some knowledge and ideas and experience from my friends from Indonesia. So that is why, I mean, the Israeli silly program is that inspired me too much before, after very, very different for me. So I do encourage you guys, we would go on in the futures. And the, by the way, I really thank to Mr. Mr. President, because I think, I noticed that actually one of your, I mean the policy, I mean engagement policy, I admire most, because you use this policy after death. Remember, I mean the more transparency and open to the democracy. Just now, recently, our historical and successful election had been. So that is uh, one of the organs of the, your engagement policy. And all the other organ is uh, me and my friends from there, Myanmar. One of my friends from here, he is the, actually the former political prisoner. We were working politics for the government of the year. He was in sentence in prison, me too. Now, he's now studying in the Australian National University. His subject is political science. Now, I ran in Myanmar, Human Rights Defenders Forum. I am the chairperson of that forum. <laughs> yes, thank you. My forum just provided the agencies across the country. Now, I am working for promoting the human rights and democracy in Myanmar, not only in Myanmar but also the war, especially the South Asian region. Thank you so much, Sean. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Tu Chao. That, uh, that, that was an outstanding presentation, and, and we are uh, feeling optimistic about what can happen in Myanmar, in part because of young people like you.